Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Apocaflix Movies. We are here for another trailer reaction, the second trailer for Venom, Let There Be Carnage. My name is Gio, and I am joined today by Mr. Jake Berlin. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. I just realized my name is still my name from when we saw Austin Powers 2 last week. So I'm Mustafa today, everybody. Hello. <laughs> I, was, I was almost going to comment on that. I was like, is yeah, that a Venom, I, Venom reference? I just realized, no, it's it's an Austin Powers, the Spy Who Shagged Me reference, and uh, I never changes since last week. So here we go. All right, man. Well, yeah, second trailer. A lot of promise on this project. You got Andy Serkis, uh, known for his uh, darker takes. He did Mowgli. Uh, you got uh, Tom Hardy, Woody Harrelson. Um, what's the female lead's name? The one who's returning? Michelle Williams. Okay, good. Because I, I messed it up last time and still haven't gotten it down. Michelle Williams. All right. Well, uh, if you're ready, Jake, we'll react and then we'll give our thoughts afterwards. All right, let's go for it. Here we go. It's going to start quick. So here we go. Why everyone in this world is carnage. The trailer before the trailer. Yeah. Lady. We should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get hauled off into Area 51. Then it was pretty much all of us during the pandemic. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Please let me fix it so I can forget it again. You are the loser. <laughs> Eddie Brock, I want to give you my story. People love serial killers. Please, why me? What's mine is yours. And what's yours is mine. Oh. I tasted blood before, and that is not it. He's after the symbiote. Oh, badass. Gary. Oh, good one. Oh. I'm not a crazy man. I'm a vengeful one. Great shot. for you that was going to be us i am happy for you no oh i'm so sorry not sorry <laughs> doing some serious couples now. okay oh, well man. what do you think uh immediate reaction uh much better than the last one in my opinion uh, the last one didn't really move the needle that much this one right here we definitely got more carnage uh, a little more backstory into how exactly uh Cletus Cassidy gets the uh symbiote in the animated cartoon I think uh um the symbiote just felt no that was Eddie Brock it was it was a different one I I, I got it all confused no I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you're right I'm pretty sure that it this there were like was, seven of them and it just picked him right yeah so it's nice to have that little bit of uh you know backstory right there but overall dude it just it looks more darker it looks more violent still curious if it's going to be an r-rated i mean that that's a big one for me i mean things have changed since the last time you know venom came out we got joker which was a big hit so maybe that gives the studio more confidence to uh go full r-rated this time so. yeah i will definitely back you in saying this trailer was a thousand times better than the first one i hated the first one I yeah. hated it uh, and a lot of it had to do with the jokey manner that they were kind of going at uh, a lot of things with, specifically that opening scene with the breakfast thing. I cannot stand that scene. Yeah. Um, 
There's two different types of comedy, and both of these trailers have shown both sides of it. The first trailer did a very bad job of it. This trailer did a really good job of it. Um, you have to be able to highlight Eddie and Venom's relationship while doing that comedy, and they did it inside of this trailer a lot better than they did the first one. Um, yeah. that, that last scene when when he and Carnage are about to go at it, and he says, I'll let you eat everybody in the world. It's like That's the type of stuff that I want to see. I don't want to see like Venom cooking and breakfast and stuff like that's just not what I'm about. Um, obviously, we're gonna go to this movie to see the fight between Carnage and Venom. That's what we want. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I hope it lives up to the hype. I think that Andy Serkis can do a really cool thing directing this film. Uh, I I know he has a very dark take on a lot of stuff, and it feels like it's a very mature film compared to the first one, which I'm excited about. Yeah. Um, I just I want it to be better than the first because I'm one of the one of the many who did not like the movie at all. I was not a fan of Venom. The only thing that I took away from it was Eddie and uh, Venom's relationship. But right. even at that point, it wasn't as good as it probably could have been. I hope that they take what they got from the first, they build on it, mm -hmm. take it in a new direction, and not be as jokey with a lot of things because that was the downfall, in my opinion. And right. the downfall in a lot of movies, like, like Spider-Man 3 or The Amazing Spider-Man 2, like those type of movies. And again, if you notice, I'm talking about Sony movies. These right. are Sony Marvel movies that have a very hard time Good because point. they don't know how to adapt certain things. And if Andy Serkis can come in and be like, look, this is what I want to do. And if Sony just lets him do that, I have no doubt the movie will be awesome. Because in my opinion, there's not a whole lot you have to do to make it better than the last one. So that's just me. Yeah, I think uh, to your point, dial it back a little bit on a CGI. That third act in the yeah. first movie was... Yeah, much uh, the villain. Look, we're, we're a fan of Riz Ahmed, but, you know, a little generic. Uh, so having Woody Harrelson here, he I was he was that, Carnage, but but not Carnage. Like, right. Riot, I think, was the character. Yeah, it was Riot. Like, yeah. he was basically Carnage. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, uh, we did see a quick shot of uh, Naomi Harris a little bit more uh, than the last one. Um, Shriek? Shriek, yes. So pumped, it's dude. I'm at such a big fan of her. I yeah. right, casting table. I cast her in everything I possibly can. I can't wait to see her. This, I just hope that she's not like this one-off character because all these right. comic movies they, they do a lot of one-off characters with characters the stature of Shriek. Right. I hope they make her something legit because I want to see that in this movie. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're hinting at a own Spider Verse within Sony. You know, with Morbius, uh, Venom, maybe Carnage gets his spinoff, uh, and maybe Shriek is a part of that. Uh, so we'll see what the plans are. Big second half of the year for Naomi Harris with uh, this movie and No Time to Die. So that's exciting. Uh, any last thoughts other than what we've already talked about? Just, just be better than the first one. That's all I want. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I know that you have to have a certain amount of CGI because obviously Venom's not a real thing. So I yeah. get that. But you can do it to a point where it feels a lot more real than it did the last time. Sure. Not where it's so muddled where you can't even like, like for example, the, the first one in that final battle between Venom and Riot, you couldn't even tell who was who. Like yeah. that was the big issue. If you do good CGI or you do it well, there's a freaking fly buzzing around my head. Uh, <laughs> if you do it, if you do it well, you can be able to tell the difference and you won't yeah. even have, you won't, you won't tell yourself like that's like bad CGI. Like you'll believe it even if it is CGI. And so I just hope that, and having Andy Serkis there as a director, the dude's the mocap the mo god. He should His be background. able to do that very well and have mm -hmm. the resources to make it as good as it can be. And so I just hope it's good. I also hope that Woody Harrelson isn't, I think he's gonna be great. I hope the writing for the character is great because this is a character that you can mess up pretty easily. And so yeah. hopefully they give him just as much screen time as Venom because he is arguably just as big of a character to a lot of comic book fans. Well, you guys could definitely find us there. Uh, opening weekend, uh, Carnage's first live action debut. Finally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Almost 20 years after the first. What is it? It's, it's October, movie. October, September. Is it October? Uh, I want to say October. Let I want to say like October 9th. Venom, let there be carnage. Tell me, tell me October 9th. 2021. Let's see. Wow, where is it? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's see. September 24th. Oh, wow. So we're, 
we're a month and a half away. Yeah, I mean, you can never tell with these release dates, guys. Okay, we we're not that even means, sure all the movies. That means we get Shang Chi and Venom in September. Crazy man, it's gonna be a very busy second half for well, sure. That's gonna do it for our reaction. You guys know our thoughts. Let us know what you think, though. What do you think about Venom? Let there be carnage. Should the second trailer sell you? Let us know your thoughts down below. That's going to do it. Uh, my name is Gio, Jake Berlin. You can find us on Apocalypse Now every Tuesday. I'm sure we might talk about this a little bit more. So that's going to do it. Until the next time, we'll catch you guys later.